Okay, she's looking at something. Give me this good profile shot too. She keeps an eye on everything. Everything around this nest, anything that moves, she's alert to it. They've got a lot invested in these babies. It takes a long time to nest and incubating the eggs and raising them. They're good parents. They've been here for many years. They're doing a fine job at this spot. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put her foot back up. Okay, she's got a good food in her crop too. See, she's well fed. All right, Dad's doing his job keeping everybody fed. Okay, she's looking down, seeing what's going on. I'll back off a little bit. You can see her perch. There you go. That's her hiding spot. She can sit in here and watch the youngsters. All right. There's Mama in the nest. She's walking around checking out the youngsters. They would have just hatched within probably a week. Oh yeah, she's just uh, maneuvering around a little bit. We just come in for a check and there she goes. They're getting excited because she's going to bring them in a little snack. These look like they're about a week old. Little Cooper Hawks. Just a little flash of white here. There you go. Of course, we don't really know how old they are. Just judging from past years, about a week old. And she'll be coming in and feeding them. See a little flash of white in the sticks there. Mama just flew out. And she should be back shortly with the food. All right, we'll keep an eye on these little guys. See what happens here. And she just came back now, so... She's keeping an eye on the youngsters, and she's waiting for the male to come in with the food, so. They're on the ball today. It's morning, it's breakfast time, and uh, she took off, checked out the area, relieved herself probably, and came back, and uh, now is babysitting until Dad shows up with the food. Here she's kind of looking over here now. Well, we're all excited about it. An active Cooper Hawk nest, and uh, Got some healthy youngsters wiggling around down in there, so we'll try to get back here and make some good uh, videos. Now she's really looking at something. She sees a bird or something. She's really looking intent now, so look at that. She's staring right there, got her neck up, looking over the edge. But she doesn't miss much, especially when she's got young mouths to feed. Okay, she's checking everything out. Got her head down low now. And probably looking at the youngsters. Yep, mama's got her head down looking around. I don't know if she's trying to hide the youngsters or just checking on them. She saw something, so she was alerted. Little guy's still wiggling. Got activity at the Cooper Hawk nest. Now she's looking up to the left. And there she goes. Yeah, and down in the nest after something. Okay, mama just turned around here. She took out after squirrel. Now she's posing right here and showing off her breast feathers. She was in the nest, kept looking up, put her head down, and squirrel got too close, and zoom, out she went. Almost caught it. Well, she ran off. Now she's sitting here on the limb, right next to the nest, keep an eye on the squirrels. What a beautiful Cooper Hawk. She was quick. She was out of that nest. She put her head down first, saw the movement. The squirrel kept getting closer and closer, and off she went. Scared the squirrel off, had it for a little bit, and now she's sitting in her tree here guarding the youngsters. They're very dedicated parents, very alert. What a beautiful shot. Right from the front now, she turned around and gave us an excellent view. We're all excited about it. We had the uh, interloper turned out to be a squirrel and she protected the young and now she says she's looking up again to see if she can find that squirrel. All right. 
Oh yeah, still peeking through the twigs. Get a little marking around his eye now. Growing like weeds. These guys grow so fast. Hatch the flight, five and a half weeks. They'll fly on the 4th of July. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's just peeking through there, watching everything. It's a big learning process now. Tired of being crouched down in the nest. You want to see over the top, see some of the other birds, and learn a little more about his environment here. And he's listening to all the birds, too. But the bird he likes is Dad's feeding call. That's the one he likes. <laughs> it's his favorite sound. Kind of a bick, bick, he goes, and then the female will sail over and get the food from the male and bring it here and feed these guys. And that's generally the routine now. They get a little bit older, then they'll both be off hunting, but now she has to protect them against predators, squirrels and stuff like that. Even they can be a hazard. Oh yeah, a guy's gonna climb a little higher. Look at this little guy. Little gray eyes peeking through there. Bluish gray at this stage. Then they slowly turn yellow. Beautiful little Cooper Hawks. Just sitting in there enjoying their day and growing. My goodness, we come every couple of days and they just grow like weeds. It's unbelievable the growth that can take place with the feathers and then the size of the bird in just a couple of days. <laughs> Can't hardly believe it. But they have to grow fast. You know, they got to hatch out, get training so they can fly south for the winter. They got to go on migration, so they got to be self-sufficient by, oh, uh, September actually. By September, that's when migration starts. So if this was a northern bird, it would have to really <laughs> learn how to hunt because it would have a long flight and has to get out before the snow sets in. We're pretty mild in this area. They hang out here and are a little late, it doesn't make any difference, but they're happy campers waiting for their mama. And they're just a looking too. There's our babies. Look at them playing. Flipping and flopping the wings now. Look at... Oh yeah, they got some... <laughs> little primary feathers coming in. Oh yeah. There we are. Now they're showing themselves. Well, we like that. Peeking over the top a little bit. What a great day to come down here and get these guys. The one on the left, see that one? I'm estimating at least three in there. Look at that. There's one, just a working out. Look at him go. They're frisky. Good morning, Cooper Hawks. Well, we've been coming ever since early spring, watched them put the sticks in and incubate. They've been sitting there patiently, now we got the little guys. And they're just all over the place, exercising, getting ready for breakfast. Oh, we like to watch them play, look at that. And when's breakfast? Well, when Dad catches the food. It might be, uh, brunch or it might even turn into lunch but meal time is when dad catches the prey <laughs> but they're all well fed they're doing good they're kind of settling back down now I had a little exercise oh yeah then we get to hear all the other birds in the area too a lot of them on the trail here a lot of songbirds 
Yeah, one's still terrorizing the nest. <laughs> Keeping the other ones alert there. All right. Okay, Mama's feeding them. She's standing right at the back door just to feed them away. The little heads are going. Look at these guys. <laughs> Oh yeah, breakfast time at the Cooper Hawk nest. Little guys are just going for it. Little heads going up. She's tearing off chunks and handing them to them. Got one healthy guy in the front there. There's Mama looking over here. I counted them from the other angle. There's at least three of them. And they're two and a half weeks old now. So we're going to sit right here and watch Mama feed these guys. Got hungry babies to feed and it's breakfast time. Oh yeah. We sat here for a while and finally we heard the, her make her call so we knew she had received the food from the mail. And then sailed in the back door we call this. She comes in from the left here. Oh yeah, look at her. Up she goes and out she goes for the next one. Right up in the limb here. I'll try to get a shot of her. Okay, she flew over here now. She just got done feeding the babies in the nest. Sailed over here and she's at the same height as the nest now and she keeps a close eye on them. See her nice orange markings on her breast there and her reddish eyes. But uh, She's just sitting tight looking over here. Last trip in, she had to chase a squirrel out of the area because it's getting too close to the nest. But she's uh, got every, all the interlopers out of the area, got the babies fed now, so she's kind of on guard now till Dad comes back with the next uh, prey item. And she'll get it ready and go feed the youngsters. They have their breakfast and uh, that's the first course. It looked like a small bird wasn't in there long, so next feeding will fill them up even more. But they're getting where they can put away quite a bit of chow because again, they're two and a half weeks old. And from hatch to flight on Cooper Hawks, it's only five and a half weeks. So they'll fly on the 4th of July. It's amazing, but they grow that fast. Well, there she is, keeping an eye on the territory, keeping the babies safe. Had a good feed. I'm going to sit up here on guard duty and uh, make sure no interlopers or predators get too close to the babies. And she'll be listening for the male. When he comes back with the food, he'll make big, big noise like that, which means I got the food and she'll sail over and get it. All right, we'll wait for the next feeding then. She's kind of looking over the back there. She's probably worried about that squirrel. He hangs around. She don't want him in that nest. Not with those youngsters. All right then. Okay, we'll try a little close-up on her. Our lighting's good. She hears that bird over there. But as a rule, they don't usually hunt that close to the nest because they want these birds to raise their young. And then when they're Cooper hawk babies get out of the nest, it gives them a chance to hunt and practice on these birds and they're safe in the area. So that's why they hunt further away from the nest. They're leaving these birds, their youngsters, for the Cooper hawk babies to practice on when they first come out of the nest. Oh yeah, she's looking down. Now if one of them gets <laughs> too relaxed, she'll correct that. But they, uh, have the male hunting a ways away for that very reason. Oh yeah, she's looking straight at us now. But she's seen me for years. I've been coming for about five, six years. So she knows I'm no threat to her or the young. Sometimes I come in, I can't find her. I start walking out, she'll make a call. <laughs> then I can find her, but I think it's kind of funny. She'll sit there and these, she can be almost invisible with all this plumage and the color she's gotten in the all the leaves now but she's just sitting there now just right above the trail not concerned with people at all well we're glad she's giving us a nice close-up all right we'll, we'll let her rest then 
I got one of them wiggling around a little bit on the left there. Oh yeah, there comes a wing. Look at this guy. Look how big they're getting. Yep, time to wake up. A little over three weeks old now. Stretch around here. Oh, they're getting feathered out really good. Beautiful morning. Come in and check on our Cooper Hawks. And Mama was telling them to lay low earlier. There's a crow in the area and check it. Oh, this guy's just a stretching. Yeah, when Mama gave the warning call, they laid low. So now that's all over with. And they're standing up here stretching a little bit, flapping those wings. Look at this guy. <laughs> all right, what a good looking Cooper Hawk. Here comes the number two. He's gonna, he can't outdo me. There's three of them in there. All right, see so if we can get all three here doing an exercise session. Oh, yeah. I think number three's off to the left now. Yeah, there's three on the left, two in the middle, and one on the other side. So they're all three going to show themselves. Good, healthy Cooper Hawks. My goodness. There we go. Look at my feathers. <laughs> Well, it's a pleasure to come in here early and listen to the birds sing and watch these Cooper Hawks wake up. Oh, yeah. We get to hear all the birds on the trail and watch these guys. One guy's got a peacock across the valley. That's that weird noise. It's not a local bird, you know. Oh, yeah, look at the heads now. They're happy campers. They had a good snooze last night. Oh yeah, one, two, three heads. Yeah. Well, we always have a chance to have them four too. We never know. Oh, here, look at this one. That's fooled me in the past. That nest is so deep sometimes when you're done you wind up with four, so. Okay, cross over to that side and I'm over here. <laughs> Play a little tag in the nest here. Good morning exercise for these guys. Oh yeah, work it out, jumping up and down. Look at that, see, they'll fly by the 4th of July. Doesn't take long for the Cooper Hawks. Just beautiful birds. All right, there's the other one over there. We've got three we've counted. I think it might even be four. They move around so quick. The nest is deep. There we go. There's the other one. Oh, yeah. Our lighting is pretty good this morning. And remember, Mama's close by. She uh, told the crows where to go. And when she give the warning call, these guys, they uh, laid down. Were inconspicuous then. Now that's all passed, so now they can exercise and do their morning ritual here. Look at the wing feathers right even get some brown color to them. How great is that? There you go back over this way. They're just having a little recess here. <laughs> the other ones will check it out behind the trunk there. They're just having a wonderful time. Sounds like they're going to be doing a little maintenance here. Okay, got one standing up here, number two standing up. Whoa, look at the feathers now. Man, the wings. Oh, yeah, here comes the other guy. Oh yeah, Mama's in there feeding now. She came in with some food. Yeah, Mama's checking on them. There we go. See what Mama brought for lunch. She's checking, making sure all the babies are all right. Three and a half weeks old now. Look at, they can stand up there. Look how many feathers on the wings and the tail. Yep, Mom's tearing into it and handing it out. What a great time to be here just for lunch. Look at these guys. Look how big they are. Almost the same size as she is. 
And we got four big babies in there. Oh, yeah. And there's Mama. She's doing her job. The little guys were sleeping away here, and Mama came in with the food. Well, how cool is that? We try to get a feeding every time we come in so we can kind of see what she's got. It's probably a bird, but the size of these little cooper hawks after a few days are just going crazy. Look at the breast feathers that are coming in. And again, three and a half weeks, so they're getting there. Well feathered out, and they'll fly in five and a half weeks from hatch to flight. Mama's all just taking little strips and giving them a little bit. And they seem to be taking turns here. She's got good table manners for them. Oh yeah. But maybe a couple of them got fed earlier, so sometimes that happens. But The hungriest one is right up front, I'll guarantee you that. Getting all kinds of chow and mom's making sure that nobody goes hungry. Okay, this one's coming up. I'll have a bite of that. Now you have to wait your turn. The one right in front of me eating. Oh yeah, mom's right into it. These guys are moving around pretty good now. Yep, they walk around getting up high in the nest. Mom keeps tearing off strips of meat and handing it to them. She come in pretty silently, real quiet. Not a cackle or nothing. Oh yeah. Yeah, this regular little Cooper Hawks now walking on top of the nest here and waiting their turn, mom feeding away here. Excellent lighting, filtered light, couldn't get any better. Okay, she's done, she hopped up here now. She's cleaning her beak a little bit. I think she's gonna sail out of here. There we go. Little guys are looking. We'll see what happens. And there she goes, coming right over here. There they are, standing up. Mom, where'd you go? Well, maybe they'll exercise a little bit. Okay, we'll come back in a little bit, see what's going on here. Now they're checking around, see if there's any scraps left. They're turning right around. Yep, feeding time's over and they're checking the scraps, making sure they got it all. We'll see if they do a little exercise session. I'm gonna lay back down, look at this guy. Got a good nest of healthy birds here, four nice Cooper Hawks. The legs are just yellow, not me, that one hopped down. Off the limb and into the nest, checking around for a scrap or a toy. I use the legs for toys and leftover bones. But what they really want, hear dad call mom in with some food. There's one peeking between the two trunks of the trees. He's right up in the front for the food. First come, first serve, that's where he'll be. <laughs> He's the chow how and he needs his food. The other ones, well, they're kind of just preening up. But this one's holding his position right there in the front. When the food comes in, it'll be the first one served. Playing with sticks now, using his feet. Well, something I got caught in a twig. Mom's coming in, and there's the food. Mama's delivering the food. Baby jumps up front. Look at him going for it. My goodness. Well, they've been waiting. We had a good breeze and a little sprinkle. Now the sun's out, and Mama brought the food. And there she is, just uh, handing it out. This piece is for you, and the wind is blowing. 
Little guy up front, well, his strategy worked. He's getting the first chance. He's down in there and the other one's standing there waiting. But they line up, they reach out and they all get fed, so. Oh yeah, mama's proud of these babies. I got you some good food here. Sailed out and caught this critter and now we're gonna have a little picnic here right up in the nest. All right. Yep, she's doing a great job. She makes sure they all get fed. Oh yeah, they're tug of war now. They're really pulling. They tried to take it away from her that time. It didn't work. Mama hung on to it. She's dissecting it and making sure everybody's going to get a share here. But each feeding we record, you can see how much they've grown. Now this has uh, been three and a half days since the last feeding and they are just going crazy. And they've gotten so big, they're almost all feathered out even got their breast feathers and on the top of their head and they'll be flying in about a week and a half so well, we've got a great feeding here be interested to see what she brought it's good size she didn't just drop it off she's been tearing it and they've tried to snag it away there they go there's a big piece of red meat oh yeah they're having a good feed i have seen them bring in uh, very young rabbits too little bunnies i've seen that for the past couple years I didn't think they did bunnies, but they do here. But most of it is the birds. And she is doing a fine job of feeding them this time. All right. Looks like she's about finishing up here a little bit. Heads are bobbing. We have no idea what the food was, but we know it's good size because they've been feeding for a while. And they're still uh, making sure they're getting in there every bite. None of them have backed off yet, so we don't have any of them gotten full yet. When they get enough food, then they'll back off, but they're all four just crowded right in there. There's a good red piece, man. It may have been a rabbit, that'd be a good size. But there's a lot of meat on a robin too. Yeah, they're just reaching out. She's tearing up more strips. Still going at it. Well, we're glad that the wind settled down. There we go. The other birds have quieted down now, so... Let's see how it goes here. Now I haven't heard the male, like I said, he's off hunting still. And the heads are just a bobbin. There, he choked down a big piece. Look at that guy. <laughs> I could hardly swallow that chunk. All right, he got him a big one. He got a little fuzz on top of his head. He's getting full. He's going to walk over the other side now. He's trying to work his crop around so he can get rid of it. Mama's feeding the other three down in there still. So we got one that got full anyway. Look at his crop. My goodness. He wants to go back in and try to get a little more. Okay, Mama's done now. Up she goes, and here she's going to fly in. There she goes. All right. Flew over here in the tree. I'll uh, go see if I can locate her. This is looking, hey mom, where'd you go? Thanks for the good feed. We're all full now. Okay, she just flew out of the nest and flew down here now. Just cleaned her beak and now she's sitting here just kind of relaxing. She's got the babies fed now. It was a big prey item. She got a fair amount of it herself, so. But all the little guys are happy now, and Mama's got food too, and there she's she's gonna get her beak cleaned up. She usually works her feet a little bit too. Yep, gonna rest now. One foot up, just kinda staring off there, watching everything in the area. We'll try to zoom in a little bit on her. There you go. 
Mackinac Beach, that's pretty tasty. Well, now they'll hang out, she'll guard the nest and wait till Dad comes back with some more food. He just got time to drop it off and take off again because, like I say, he got four babies the same size as him plus her to feed. So that's the way it goes right now. They get a little bit bigger where they don't need to be guarded and uh, she'll help hunt too, so. But for now, her main job is to guard these babies. They got a lot invested. 30 some days of incubation and all that, so. Yeah, she's giving us a good profile. All right then, we'll call that good then. Oh yeah, this one's finishing up snack in the nest. Well, the robins have settled down now. Let's see what this guy's up to. He's gonna venture off to this side a little bit. A little fuzzy head, making sure he found every scrap in the nest. It's a deep nest. You see them pop right down in there, even at their size. They're full size already. Well, that's what they do. They get out of the nest now and up on the limbs. They might be a few feet above the top. Oh yeah, I got a little close up now. Mama's just to feeding that one. He was up above a on a limb and sailed right down in there. Oh yeah, getting a good snack. Mama, it looks like from her crop, she had a good feed too. This is the one I call Johnny Come Lately. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good strategy. The other one's got to eat first this morning and Mama came in with a big helping for this one and they're sharing it together. All right, look at that. What a good mama. They all got fed and the one that hanging out in the nest, he didn't get his breakfast. So mom uh, got something ready and brought it right over here to this one. Call me late, don't call me late for breakfast. <laughs> oh yeah, good feed going now. This is our feeding position. We always make our feedings from this side here. And we're here early this morning. So we got in on the first feed for this one. Mama ran a squirrel off and landed up in the tree. Next to me, I got a good bit over there. Now she uh, sailed off and got some food and is now feeding this one. It looks like a happy camper to me. Oh yeah, they're getting right down into it. We'll just uh, check it out. Back off just a little bit maybe here. Oh yeah, they're tearing right into it. Finishing up now. The other ones are fed, they're up on top over the left tree and the right tree. Yeah, Mama's looking around. Wondering where the other ones are. You can hear all the other birds singing too. They're glad there's no rain forecast for the day. It's gonna be nice and warm and sunny. Everybody will have an enjoyable day. And this is the happy camper. Got a little fuzz on top of his beak there. <laughs> All safe in the nest here, sharing breakfast with Mama. Like I said, the other ones there were fed. Oh yeah, he's looking around. He's gonna take off now, I think. What's he looking at? Hopping up here. He's the brancher. Going back up on top, he had enough to eat. Mama sails out the back door and there she goes. All right. Okay, breakfast time in the Cooper Hawk nest. Mama's feeding them all again. Call them down in using this as the breakfast table. 
They were all up in the limbs and see they're still calling them back to the nest. Boy, they're all there too now, all lined up. Mom's in her favorite spot. Got two eating there, one on the limb. I know all four are in there. We'll keep an eye on them a little bit here. Yeah, they're getting big. It's after the 4th of July now, so they're flying good. They're all over the trail here and Mom's handing out the food. That guy here pays to come in early. The early snooper finds a cooper. Look at their plumage now. It's been a couple of days since we've been here. They're all feathered out now and looking really good. But she'll do that. She'll uh, go catch something and come right back to the nest here. This is her feeding station. And they'll hang out here on the trail and start to play around with things and start to catch stuff on their own pretty quick. All part of their education, getting them ready for the fall migration, efficient enough to catch their food. Well, this is just great. Having a great feeding in here and uh, they've now fledged. They're beyond the brancher stage. And they go up and down the trail across on the other side little bits, but still fairly close to the nest. And like I say, that's her feeding station. Boy, look at them, they're all just the same size as she is, just to getting right into it. Well, we certainly like that. You hear all the other birds just singing away this morning. Had a little rain last night, I was dry, so everybody's happy here at the feeding. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, one, two, three, and four feeding, and mom just handing it out. This piece for you, this one's for you. They still got their table manner. She's got them trained to line up here. Getting bigger chunks, so one guy's back turned away, and he's eating on the piece he got, so. All should go well at this feeding. We'll keep a close eye on them. Imagine the amount of food Dad's got to bring in now to feed all these guys. In and out, back and forth. <laughs> well, he's done it for many years that I know of already, so he's used to it. Oh yeah, they got a little tug of war there. Mom's doing a fine job. What a great spot. I kind of thought I heard a little call from one. Looks like Mom had a good feed too. Yeah, their feathers are looking really good. They're right in the juvenile plumage now, all feathered out pretty good. One's got a little white on the head yet. Yeah, we had one late bloomer in this clutch this year. It's 24 hours younger than the other ones because she uh, started incubating and laid that last egg, so it's 24 hours later. But other than that, they're all the other ones of the same age. What we got here is perfect timing. You can't beat this. Oh, yeah, another one came down out of the tree. He wants his, and uh, Mom's out the back door, I think. Unless she turned around. She may have turned around here. Yeah. She flew out the back door now. And there they are with the food. <laughs> Called food fight now, I'll tell you. My goodness, I'll back off a little bit. See what they're really up to here. Yeah, they had a good feed. Mom took out, out the back door. Looks like they all got fed pretty good. Now back up in the branches again. This is my favorite spot to come in. They get view so much good stuff here. Especially this nest here. This, this pair has been here for 10 years that I know of. Been here for quite a while. All right, they're starting to fly now. Let's see what's going on. Okay, this is the last one finishing up. 
See all her downy feathers on the nest? Still looks like cotton balls. You can see how well feathered out he is. All four of them were in there eating. Mom was feeding them and finally got done. They went back up in the trees. Mom took out of the back door and this one here is finishing up the tidbits. So they all got fed good. But you can see our lighting is absolutely perfect right now. And we had one, one was eating here, finishing up, and he plopped back down the nest. The other one had a little food fight, and then they, I think this is the winner here, and the other one took off. That wee wee, that's our, that's their sound. And they'll eventually learn how to do the Cooper Hawk call, but for now, they're doing their wee wee noise. There, see, you got the bluish gray eyes. Look at the crop getting filled out. No fuzz on the top of the head. He's fledged out good. He's looking really healthy and good now. And we're all excited about it. Come down here and view this. My goodness, looking right at me now. And the other three siblings, well, they flew over in the other tree now, and they're up there talking to each other and flopping around. They eat so good, I think they'll slow down and digest their food. I'll try to get closer and... There they go, calling. Flew across the trail here, right over my head. I'll watch this guy eat a little bit more here. All right. Let's see if we can find the other ones. Okay, this one flew over here now. This guy's back to us. You can see we're getting uh, blue sky now. Sunshine coming in. Oh yeah, looking over the back here. Just seeing what's going on. Eyes are all lit up. Maybe we'll hear one of the siblings call and we'll get to record that. They hide in these leaves, it's hard to find them. Stretching his foot out. See how relaxed he is? He had a good feed. Perched up here, catching a little sun. Maybe he'll start preening up. We know he had a good breakfast. We're going to see if we can find some of the others. It's really hard to pinpoint them now because they can get away quick and hide up in the leaves here. They fledge now. They just go back to the nest here to eat and sleep. And then eventually they'll roost on the limbs, but they're uh, still sleeping in the nest. They are able to fly out and around. Oh yeah, a little bug, insect bugging him now. But uh, insect comes for the little bit of blood residue on his beak. And then that'll attract the hummingbird if he gets wind of the bug there and try to come over and <laughs> catch the bug. That's the relationship. They've been trying to figure that out for years why they hang around raptor nests, but it's for the insects. All right, look at getting under the wing here. All right. He's got those white spots on the back for the juvenile plumage. Each wing has white spots. Oh, we're going to have a great preening here, looks like. And stretched out his wing and getting everything squared away now. Now there's one flying in the, to his buddy here. You heard that call. He's watching him. He's over in the other tree. You got two more. There you go. So they're getting around. This is their learning stage now. They'll, uh, if the wind blows the leaf, they'll attack it and try to catch it. They start playing with <laughs> twigs and stuff with their feet. But they go through quite a learning process here, so they're all ready for the Migration on their own. There's another insect bug at him, see? Here's what he thinks about that. Oh my, I almost got my camera on that one. There he's calling a little bit. He may fly, join his buddies, yep. I'm gonna see if I can figure out where they went. 